good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is another episode of discussion on Aries. So Aries is an energy that um, comes from the planet Mars. And Mars itself um, is associated with Scorpio as well. So we want to give a shout out to these individuals that are Scorpios and that are Aries and just give a little background information on things to be aware of in this here time and season, at least until January, um, while there are different um, circumstances going on in the universe. So Aries is, you know, generally rambunctious and very forthcoming. It can be forthcoming with speech. Um, I found through studying that um, Aries energy, um, not saying the people, but those that embody it, not just the first house, but wherever Aries is, there's a possibility of hyperactivity. And so even for our children, we can recognize um, maybe if there were, you know, thoughts of um, ADHD, you know, uh, there that we could see it in the chart uh, where um, Mars is or even Aries. And so uh, moving on, um, we want to make note that when Aries is in motion, it's always about energy. It's always about moving. That's why a lot of people um, probably haven't been able to sleep well, Um, not to mention the eclipse, but just staying on the energy of Aries, it always wants to do things. And so it can be restless um, and it will make you feel restless. It will make you feel like you haven't accomplished things. Um, when Aries gets into a, um, a place where it's um, being repressed or it feels like it can't go forth, it can feel stressed. Um, it can also uh, feel depression and This is because it is a motivated energy. It's an energy that um, it compels all of us in the world to get up and go. It's a go-getter type of energy. And what Aries uh, or Mars energy, let's just say that, um, does not really understand is that it has to be disciplined. That means that it doesn't have to be depressed because it's restricted, but grow up and understand that some things cannot be done at certain times, you know, and that's where Saturn comes in and Saturn builds a structure. Um, if, if Leo is there, Leo will bring, um, creativity, uh, along with the fact that many Aries have creativity and they're entrepreneurs, but, The thing about the Aries or let's say the Mars energy more than anything, because it um, affects Scorpio, um, we must know that it causes compulsive behavior. Um, It can be a behavior there that is like OCD, um, OCCD, uh, that kind of thing. And um, it, it will put you in a mindset of always repetitively thinking about things that are unproductive. If you're angry with someone, you'll just be thinking about it until something clicks or someone calls and says, what you doing? And then it'll shake you out of the mind. That's, you know, compulsive thinking uh, where you can't pull yourself out of a thought and it needs to be, um, uh, yeah, it needs to be dealt with because with our minds being a part of creation, whatever we think, so it is. And as much as you think on something negative in that Aries energy, because it's fast and we've moved into um, a 5D uh, type of uh, dynamic, then you'll be uh, actually producing things that you don't want. So this is, again, an impulsive energy. It can be compulsive, OCCD um, or ODD, you know, however, there's um, uh, conduct uh, disorders as well uh, that become um, overwhelming, you know, for children because the compulsive behavior is there. So um, it can be in adults too, uh, by the way. Uh, Aries is also, and that Mars energy, it is a um, 
fight or flight type of energy. It moves before it thinks. And so these are all areas that we want to look at for ourselves and begin to um, adapt a way of disciplining the, the energy of Aries and Mars. Now I'm going to do an in-depth um, discussion that you can go to the link and purchase. And um, so I'll meet you over there. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for taking the interest in yourself to learn more and be uh, proactive in the change of the world that we're experiencing. All right. Blessings.